It's minus eight outside. And we've had multiple calls this week from people whose heat pumps haven't stopped running and whose bills are terrifying. This isn't theory. This is what customers are experiencing right now. So people with solar panels are thinking we have got but lots of free power now, so let's buy a heat pump. But in winter, we simply don't have that much sunlight. Days are shorter. The sun is lower in the sky. And the weather is often gray, wet, or snowy. So so solar panels produce a fraction of what they do in summer. At the same time, houses use more electricity, more lights, more heating, longer evenings. So even a well-sized solar system can struggle to run a normal house in winter. Add a heat pump on top of that, which maybe pulling several kilowatts continuously and the numbers simply don't stack up. That's why when people ask if they can realistically run a heat pump on solar in winter, our answer is usually no. So some, some of these, some of the heat pump systems were installed against our advice, but we're still helping, but because these are real homes and real bills. And what we're seeing is very consistent. One system is pulling around seven and a half kilowatts per hour continuously. That's roughly 180 kilowatt hours per day. At today's electricity prices, that's close to 30 pounds every single day. That's nearly 1,000 pounds a month. And here, here's the bit most people were never told before fitting one. In freezing weather, there's less heat in the air to extract. So the system runs longer, harder, and often triggers defrost cycles. And if a backup electric heater is enabled, it quietly turns into an expensive fan heater. Now add this problem. The inverter on this house is 10 and a half kilowatts. The heat pump is using most of it all day. That leaves almost nothing for, for normal life. Kettles, ovens, showers, EVs. On paper, it works. In reality, the headroom is gone, and a lot of people got these systems for free, but gave up their gas boiler. So once that's gone, there's no easy way back. So when winter hits, people now feel trapped with no option but to pay high electricity of bills. Heat pumps absolutely have their place, but they are not a drop-in replacement for gas in every home, especially in deep winter, and they only work well when you know, when the whole system is designed for reality, not brochures. If this sounds familiar, you're not alone. And if you want more straight talk explanations like this, we subscribe this. Next, we'll look at how to design these systems properly. And, and uh, you, without the shock 